IVF stands for in vitro fertilization, and it's the process of taking the eggs outside of the body and fertilizing it with the sperm in the lab. We grow the embryos and then put the best one back inside of you. So it's a treatment that's been available for years, over 30 years. Um, and it was initially designed for people with blocked tubes or very low sperm counts, but now there's a variety of patients that may benefit. We all have a limited fertility window, and as we age, it becomes more difficult to get pregnant, and IVF helps with that process. It's our best medical treatment for getting patient pregnant using their own eggs. So in general, in vitro fertilization takes about six to eight weeks to accomplish. It starts out with actually a birth control pill for several weeks before starting the hormone stimulation. Um, the patient then stops the pill and starts the active stimulation. And those are really the two or three weeks that we see you on a more frequent basis and watch um, by ultrasound and um, estrogen levels through a blood draw and watch the eggs mature inside of you. Um, so that process takes about two weeks and then the eggs are retrieved and fertilized outside of you and they grow for typically five days and then put the best one or two embryos back in you. Um, and then 10 days later you do a pregnancy test and hopefully we have good news. One common misconception about IVF is that it always results in twins or triplets. The technology has improved so much in the last few years that we can now put just one embryo back in at a time with very high success rates. And that really has allowed us to avoid giving people twins, because certainly our goal is always one healthy pregnancy at a time. There's two ways to fertilize eggs. They're both done outside of you in the embryology lab. The first way is called conventional insemination, and that's when a group of sperm is put with each egg and allowed to fertilize on its own. The, other, the second way is a more active way called ICSI, and that stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection, and that's where the best sperm is hand-selected and put in each one of the eggs. So there are several reasons to do ICSI. One is unexplained infertility. When we don't have a reason why you're not getting pregnant on your own, sometimes that's just difficulty with fertilization. Another is when there's too few sperm to fertilize on their own. So male factor infertility is often an indication for ICSI. The freezing process in IVF has really improved in the last five years. The process is called vitrification, and it's really revolutionized the way we do IVF. Vitrification allows us to save the remaining embryos for either future children or to try again in the future. At Pacific Northwest Fertility, we use vitrification to freeze our embryos. We no longer lose embryos in the process of freezing. Very rarely does an embryo not survive the freezing process. Vitrification allows us to transfer embryos with the same success rate, whether the embryo is fresh or frozen.